Hello everyone, it's Hannah from Wild and Growing. I'm here on the side of this dirt road harvesting the next uh, plant in my installment of the Wild Edibles playlist. So this plant grows in on the side of the road in full sun. Um, you'll see it everywhere along roadsides in the northeast of America. Um, it's a really cool plant and many people don't know that it's edible because it kind of looks a little scary. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to make some pink lemonade using this plant, using the berries, and I'm going to show you how to process it, create the pink lemonade, and identify it. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is what staghorn sumac looks like. It is a large shrub that can grow about 15 to 30 feet tall and along sunny roadsides in the northeast. It is a colony forming shrub, which means that it grows near other sumac trees, and you can observe it by observing its leaves. The leaves are green and large, and they're pinnately compounded leaves, which means that they kind of look like a feather. You have two leaflets alongside a stem opposite each other. If you want to learn more about leaf shapes, I have a leaf shape poster that you can learn from on my Etsy page. I'll link it in the link below. Staghorn sumac has these large cone-shaped clusters of red fuzzy berries. The fuzzy berries are where we're going to get our lemony flavor and we're going to harvest them. Once you get home, you're going to want to rinse off your staghorn sumac berries just to make sure there's no bugs in them. After you give it a thorough rinse, put it in your jar and fill the jar up with water to the top. Leave it tightly sealed on a sunny windowsill overnight. After a few hours, you'll already see the color of the water changing to an amber-yellow color. Keep leaving it for a stronger lemony taste. Alright, so it's been sitting overnight and I'm going to see how our pink lemonade, natural pink lemonade, turned out. So um, you can drink it straight out of this, but the reason why it gets so acidic, so lemony, is because there's tiny little hairs that have citric acid in it, which makes it more citrusy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain it using this strainer and pour it into my cup so that those hairs, which can be irritating to your throat, don't get in my glass. So let's open this up and get it open. Hmm. Smells interesting. Hopefully I don't make a mess. It's not quite pink, but it is a nice amber color. Um, in my glass, there's not much hairs. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna try it. What's that? I'm gonna get this thing out first. It's just a hair. All right, let's try. Whoa. Very lemony. 
I would suggest um, putting some sugar in this. It's definitely bitter. It's kind of like a tea, like a lemony tea. It's good though, very natural, and it has a lot of vitamin C in it. So if you're looking for a natural lemonade, one that you know doesn't have sugar in it, one that still tastes lemony, this is a really good substitution, and it grows along all the roads in New England. So I really suggest trying it. It's really good. Let me know if you try it in the comments below. All right, everyone, so that's it for this video. I hope you learned a lot about staghorn sumac. It's an incredible plant and it's um, abundant in New England on roadsides. Um, if you have ever tried this plant before, let me know in the comments below. And if you make this pink lemonade, please let me know how you made it. Did you add sugar? Did you add anything else to it? Did it change the flavor? I wanna know everything that you learn as well through this process. So I hope you like this video. If you did like the video, um, also make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, we post new videos once a week on Saturdays. Have a good day. Go out and find some wild edibles on your own.